Four-year-old Daniel Pelker was so thin when he died, he's said to have looked like a concentration camp victim. His mother, Magdalena Wuschak, and her partner, Mariusz Kreszelek, are accused of starving and murdering him. Today, the jury heard evidence from one of Daniel's siblings. A video of a police interview was played to the courtroom in which the child could be seen sitting on a sofa playing with a toy. Some members of the jury cried as the child described seeing Mariusz Kreszelek put Daniel in a cold bath and hit him until he screamed. The child said the defendants wouldn't allow Daniel downstairs or even out of the bedroom to go to the toilet. The child told police the defendants didn't bother to care for Daniel and Magdalena Wuschak would never cook for him. Instead, his sibling would ask for extra pieces of toast to share with him. Daniel was pronounced dead after paramedics were called to his home in Coventry. He died from a head injury. His sibling said, I tried to wake him up. I listened to his heart. I couldn't hear his heart. It couldn't beat. This afternoon, the child was cross-examined via a video link from another room. The lawyers removed their wigs to help put the child at ease. The sibling described secretly making food for Daniel because the child said the defendants didn't care about him. Daniel's mother and stepfather have admitted child cruelty but deny charges of murder and causing or allowing his death. The trial continues. Rebecca Barry, 5 News, Birmingham.